So today we're going to talk about how to install the JAX AM project and also how to run a simple finite element example. So the first thing we're going to do is to create a conda environment. So I have to create a conda environment, you can check the conda uh, tutorial. I already have conda installed. If you don't have that, you can install the conda environment. Install the conda. So let's copy this conda create. Let's let's do the Python uh, equal to 3.9, which uh, works for us. So conda environment has been created. And the next step, we're going to activate this uh, conda environment. So we just name it my environment. So let's copy paste that. All right, so you can notice that now we're entering the my environment. This is the conda environment that we just created. And next, we're going to install the JAXM project. So if we check the JAXM um, documentation website, we can see that if we go to install and then um, it says create a new conda environment and then run the following. So let's create a new folder. Let's go to the download folder and then create a new folder. Just name it test and then let's enter. Okay, so test folder already exists. So let's do that perhaps test one. So let's enter this folder. Okay, so we have nothing here. And then let's clone our repository to this um, arbitrary folder. Okay, I was having some internet issue, but this cloning process um, should not take too much time. All right, so um, now we have the JAXM um, project cloned to our local machine. Next step, we're going to enter this project and then we do pip install. So this step is going to take some time, so I'm going to um, skip it and then I'm um, going to get back. All right, so it took me about five minutes to install everything on my local machine. So if you have problem um, with installing the Petsy for Pi library, we actually use Petsy to solve the linear system um, for JAX-AM. So JAX-AM is, is, is interfaced with Petsy. If you have trouble installing this library using pip, I would suggest using um, conda to install Petsy. So my experience was that if you use conda, it usually would be successful. But here we're still um, we're still being able to install everything uh, successfully. All right. So next, let's going uh, let, let let's um, run a simple find M example. So let's go to the documentation website. Let's check quick start. And under the application folder, there are actually a variety of examples. And we can uh, using the module run, dash m means the module run, to run one of the example. Um, that is a demonstration of the final element example. So let's copy that. And let's run that. The first time um, you run it, it's going to load some uh, library, so it's going to be a little bit slow. Okay, now it's starting to compute everything. So this is a relatively small size problem, so the running uh, finishes. And if you want to check the results, so let's see, we have uh, everything is kind of under this test one folder. And we, if we check application, FEM, and there are a variety of other examples, but we just uh, run this demo example. Demo example, it's going to automatically create the folder and store the results into this data folder uh, as the format of VDK. So let's uh, use another software, Paraview, to visualize this VDK file. 
So I already have pair, pair view here. So let's open um, this. So I already uh, are, I'm already in this folder. So let's open this view vtk file. So it's a simple linear elastic linear elasticity example with uniaxo tensile um, boundary conditions. We can do a warp by vector to see the displacement field. And let's apply it. Okay, maybe we can add a 10 times exaggeration or scale factor. And let's check the mesh. So as you can see, this is our first example of using the JAXF FEM library. And it actually gives us um, a result like that looks like this, that can be visualized with ParaView.